So what follows now is a practical demonstration of how to run this three phase motor off single phase using capacitors. Um, it's a demonstration only and I'm not encouraging people to do this at home. This is the mains in. And the mains in, the blue there goes into the chop block and straight out again and off to the motor. That will be the neutral. The brown here, which is the live or the positive, comes into the chop block and this brown goes off to the motor. Fair enough. But the other side of this brown, this, ch this connector, there's a brown there. That goes off to the capacitor and having gone through the capacitors it comes back in the blue and then the blue is connected to the black and the black of course is the third connection uh, on the motor. Okay, so I've got four capacitors here. Let's just untwiddle some of them. In fact, no. I'm going to show you this capacitor. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom in. This capacitor they're here, these are out of old fluorescent light fittings and this one says 8.4 and it's a little funny UF, that's microfarads. Okay, this one here again, can't read it, 8 microfarads. So it's the microfarads that you're interested on these, again out of um, fluorescent light fittings. Not modern ones though, because modern ones have got these little piddly little things, whereas reasonably old ones, they're real capacitors. So what we're going to do here, just in the spirit of learning and adventure, is I'm going to join the wires from two capacitors together. Look, okay, so they're in parallel. So therefore, basically, it's doubling the capacitance. These capacitors are designed to run off 240 volts AC. It's important that that's right. So then I'm putting these in, wiring these in circuit. I'm going to repeat that. In fluorescent light fittings, the de capacitors are designed to run off 240 volts. That's number one. And the capacitance is important. So when you put capacitors in parallel, you add the capacitance of each capacitor together. So for instance, if you had an 8 microfarad capacitor and a 4 and another 4, then that's 8 plus 4 is 12 plus another 4 is 16. Hopefully that makes sense. Right, wired that up. I'm just going to change the camera again. So here's a mains connection. So we've got two capacitors on there. Let's see what happens. It's not going fast enough. It's going, but it's not going fast enough. So I'll disconnect that, then I'm just going to put another capacitor across there. This is isolated now, so this is another, what is this, I can't read it, 8 microfarad. Take contact. There you go. So disconnect that. Now, I've got one more capacitor here, and it is a uh, another eight. It's isolated. 
So add another capacitor. So we've got four capacitors. And this is the final capacitor arrangement. So from the brown comes along here and it goes into one, two, three, four capacitors and then the other side of the capacitors, each wire, one, two, three, four, is connected to the blue and then the blue, as we said previously, is eventually connected to the black which is the third connection on the motor. So that is four capacitors in parallel. There you go. Hopefully that makes a bit more sense. 4832. So therefore now we've got 32 microfarads of capacitance on this motor. Okay, let's see what happens now. Boom! It started a bit quicker. I think 32 would do. You don't want to go any more. If this motor if you're using this motor for quite a long time, it might start to get a bit warm. In which case, you would have to reduce the amount of run capacitance and maybe add a start capacitor. It's amazing, isn't it? All that fear of, ah, oh, I can't use a three-phase motor, I haven't got three-phase. And just for the fun of it, we'll start it again. Boom. 